Hello everybody to a new episode of The King Chase and today I have an example from our current world champion Magnus Carlsen however quite a long time ago 10 years ago when he was still young but even back then he was already pretty strong so this is the position from the game Magnus Carlsen against Guy Sune Talaxnosme played in 2005 in Norway it's wide to move and the beginning I'd say is rather obvious but there's still a lot to calculate so don't stop too early and try to calculate as far as possible the game actually continued for quite a while so there's still a lot going on as always stop right here and then you can compare your variations the lines you calculated with what actually happened in the game okay I'm going to go ahead and show right now. So if you don't want to see it yet, hit the stop button. Knight takes h6, of course. I mean, all the white pieces more or less are aligned to initiate the attack and white is ready to sacrifice. G takes and rook takes h6, threatening rook g5 checkmate. If the rook moves, that wouldn't help at all. Rook g5 and rook h8 would still lead to checkmate. So. Black had no choice but to play king g7. Attacking the rook on h6. And here, what to do now? That's the next question. And once again, you can stop the video if you would like to. How to continue from here? Well, Magnus said, you can have the rook, I give it to you. Rook g5 check and the whole idea is that now bishop c1 sets up a really strong discovered uh, check. And there's no way black can get out of it. The king cannot move, the queen is protecting h7. So there will be a discovered check in the next move. So let's see what happens. C takes D4, Rook G4 check, and Black has to give to Queen, even though only against a pawn, pretty much. Because if he moves the King, this is checkmate. So Queen E3, but Magnus, very precise, he didn't take right now, of course. The Rook is hanging on G4, so let's move the Rook first. Rook H4 check, Knight H5, and now, I have another exercise for you guys. How to continue from here? Should white take the queen? Or maybe play something else? You could probably guess it already. Not take the queen because once again the rook is hanging. So let's give it up with a check. And I, I think it's quite hilarious how long the queen is hanging on e3. And first Magnus improved his position as most as possible and now he took on e3 and while black has two rooks for the queen still his king is completely up in the open and this is his main problem so the white con attack still continues rook a c8 and i have one more last exercise for you here how did carlson continue here and maybe it's not too difficult anymore. King g2. Beautiful quiet move. Once again the queen is protecting c2. And now the king already has little squares to go. h3 is a threat. And we'll see what happens. Rook takes c1. h3. King g5. Queen g7 check. King f5. King h5 would of course run to mate here g4 and queen h6 so king f5 g4 check also runs into mate king e4 and queen takes d4 checkmate what a marvelous excellent king chase by magnus carlsen he didn't have many in his career i believe but this one was superb sacrificed Pretty much everything he had except for his queen which delivered checkmate in the end 
with the aid of the king. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye.